guys, this is Ton Ton here and welcome back to my channel. So as you all know for the Deluxe Cut Tie or Megazord or blah 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 blah, they all have the similarities of all the other robots can combine to one another. So we have seen this in the Ninja Storm Megazord, the Samurai Megazord and the RPM Megazord. We've seen that. That is the Japanese way of doing things. So of course this is the Ironwood and the Heatwave Cut Tie Megazord I have reviewed before. So I think in this video, I'm going to show you how to combine them. Let's begin. Okay. So for the heat wave, you're going to take out the sword, take out the arms, and literally like you take the whole things apart. And then you can close this and remove this whole section. And take out the wings. And for this one, bring them down and bring them down like that and so you want to bring this up to form the body as you can see we are forming a really long torso section over here so for iron root first off remove this head and then take out the shoulders and you want to form them back into the real mode sort of just repeat You know, take this whole piece out. And bring this down, just like that. And then take out the two legs. And for this leg over here, you want to remove this and then bring this into this kind of angle and bend this like that and you're actually going to repeat the same thing and at this point here you want to fill in the upgrade the legged so give him a little bit of feet like this tap over here now we will use the piece with the tail and to lock it over here to form a little bit of self and then you can connect this heels into this tab just like that and you're gonna repeat the same thing again this way of combined reminds me of the go on show slash rpm g12 megazord this is that kind of broken up the feet section And then you're going to take this piece over here and lock it into place. Now this reminds me of the Gosager. Next, take out this arm section and use it again as the main arm of the robot. And take the dragon head and apply it again as some sort of weapon and then take a tiger head and next up take this gray piece and apply it onto here take this whole section the one with the flippable head and put it as a shoulder guard and repeat the same thing over here Finally, we take this last piece of train and take out this tab, two tabs. I'm going to tap in to form the back. And finally, we take the old headpiece, snap it over here, and take out the wings that we left before and tap it onto here just like that. Finally, for the head, so we just fold this up. That will be the main head of this formation. And we're done. So I mean like the combination is quite interesting. Uh, this is basically like you take out a bot and you upgrade it in onto another bot as the armament and armor. I mean like it's a colorful robot so what can we expect? 
And I mean, this is a pretty interesting gut, uh, formation. The only down thing I feel in this mode, talking about design, will be the hollowness of the chest. I understand that is because of the face mechanism flipping up, but it's still, it is kind of hollow. But other than that, this reminds me a lot of the, of the some of the other Japanese gatai, like Gonger or Gosager. And of course, to many of you, this may feel like too much of a robot, but believe me, there's one other mech that I'm going to review soon in the future, and that is when you know that when what is too much. And one more thing is that I absolutely enjoy the ways that they handle the heels by adding the two rails onto the back of the leg. It supports the whole weight of the robot as well as making it look impressive and bulky. And so here we have it, the G Rail Gen Rail Saver. This is the form of the four mechs. We have the combination of the Phoenix, the Turtle, the Dragon and the Tiger, which is the four sacred animals of in the Chinese culture or further the expand of the East Asian culture. So the next will be about one other sacred beast but I'm not gonna re review too soon, so stay tuned on my channel. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, leave it a like. And if you're new to the channel, give me a subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram. And this sounds a little bit weird, but does anyone know how to stop the reporting on Instagram? Because I have this minor problem of some haters is reporting me on Instagram, which result in my loss in posts and followers, which is quite weird. So if you know anything about that, leave me a comment in this comment section below. And also, if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee. Link is in the description below. Tonton out.